Hey there everybody and welcome to part 4 of this tutorial series and today we're going to be focusing on the bug that we had earlier so I'm just going to go through I'm going to show you the bug and here it is in our store we've already covered the save and load system so we already have these guys so if we click select we can select two people and we can select this guy so that's the problem so we have to fix those three those two problems in this tutorial but this tutorial might not be as long as usual um, I think uh, I just I don't know for some reason it should not just be as long okay so first thing first we want to do is we want to connect this button press signal to um, our character's script okay so we're gonna double tap on that and give it to our characters so here you can see on um, button press so that's a problem we already have a button pressed already a button press signal so i'm going to rename this as button one okay so i'm going to hit edit and i'm going to name it button one okay so now we have a a signal for our main button okay so here we're going to still be passing in the buy and everything is going to go normal like now we have um, we're going to just say underscore buy and give it a zero and zero because it's on the item um the item number is gonna be zero because um over here in the global you can see bot here is already true so it's default to buy true okay the default um bot is for the first guy is true and this is index zero that's why it's gonna have an in that's why it's gonna have a an item number of zero okay so we already that means it won't go through this line of code because um, the item number is already true so it's going to skip this and go straight to the select so we're going to be um, if we just run this now you see that we can actually select our button our first character so now for the bug it will be corrected here in the selected so we're going to be kind of be using a group system okay so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to check for all the buttons in a particular group so if we say for buttons in okay get underscore tree dot get underscore nodes in group and here we're gonna pass in the name of the group so we'll just pass in selected well we have not made any um any 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 group like that but we're going to make it in the code okay not um the normal way go to know and all that stuff okay so for all the buttons in the selected group we want buttons the text to be equal to select so we want to unselect all our buttons and all the buttons that are already selected well in this case it's only be one so we want to select unselect that button and we want to remove it from the group so we're going to say buttons dot remove from group remove from group okay so we're going to put this in parentheses and in quotes we're going to pass in the name of the group that we want um, the buttons to be removed from so that is all then the next thing you want to do is under this we're gonna say node dot um, text will be equal to selected. Okay, that means the one that we just tapped will be selected. And here we're gonna say node dot um, sorry node dot add to group to group so we're going to add it to the selected group so that if we click another guy we're going to go through the same code as in like and get all the nodes in the buttons in the selected group and remove it from the selected group and change its, um, its text back to select um so now here when i say add to group i'm going to just put this um group in here and i'm going to save this so now I'm going to try to run this um, by hitting F6. Okay, I'm going to run only the store. And since we have all those guys, we don't really need to buy them again. So 
just do that okay so if i hit select here and i try to select this guy this guy changes from select and this guy changes to selected so we can select um and it kind of just changes each of them um that we just press to select it okay so we're done with that bug what we want to do right now is we want to actually if you hit f6 you know remember that we selected the first guy actually so if we hit f6 okay i'm just going to demonstrate this like now i select this guy i hit enter and enter again and you see that i've not selected anybody so that's a problem okay so we're going to fix that so we're just actually going to be saving again we're going to be saving the one we selected okay so here you have selected um, I just want to name it selected or yeah I want to name it selected then in here I'm just going to pass in an integer which is zero so by default okay on the ready like on the start of the game um like at the first first as in the first time you start the game selected will be zero that means um it to select the first character for you on its own Okay, so if you change that, it remains changed and it saves the data and all that stuff. So if it gives you some kind of error, note that you have to actually put a comma beside the bot so that it will just get rid of that error. So we're just gonna hit um, Ctrl S, we're gonna save that, and over here we're actually going to be loading that stuff up. So here we'll see, um, and we'll add another thing to this selected node too. So to this selected function, okay, that's why I advise to use a function. So here in the selected, we're gonna hit use a comma to separate the next one we want, and we'll just name this number. Well, you we can name it item number if it's your choice. Um, I'm just gonna name it number. And over here in the selected, um, when we buy the item, we want to pass in the item item number okay yeah that should do it then what we're going to be doing is we're going to actually be um loading that stuff that store okay loading the store and um saving the stuff okay the save store so we're going to load the store and save the stuff um this is actually essential because we're going to actually be um manipulating this selected variable here so here i'm gonna say global dot store dot selected okay and we're going to pass it um the item sorry we're gonna pass it the number so the item number is going to be passed in here so it's going to save it as that um as that item number and it's going to yeah, it's going to save it as the item number and we'll actually be telling it some things here in the ready we want um on the ready the, um we want the global sorry we want that one to be selected the one we just selected to be selected so what we're going to be doing now is we're going to hit um going to say panels panels dot um, the get node we're actually going to be using um, our the way we did it before um, get node and we're going to get the well I'm just gonna copy a line of code here I'm gonna copy this one um, this one that gets the um, the particular button so we're gonna just get that and yeah and we're going to copy this guy and put him here when I paste this um, at the end here so if he has a problem it says item number and yeah item number is not declared so we're going to be changing this to global dot store global dot store dot select set okay so it's gonna get that selected which is 
in this case if the item by zero it's gonna add one to it and just get the panel plus one and just the way we did it in the usual times okay so we're gonna say dot text the text is equal to selected okay and here we're gonna say panels dot add to group dot add to group yeah selected so, so no not panels actually uh, no panels um we're gonna get this node again we're gonna get this node and add this node to the group instead so i'm gonna copy this guy and paste it here and add dot at the end okay so he's gonna add this guy to the group um of selected nodes i'm gonna save this um hit f6 And yeah, it gave us a problem. It says that all this um, this selected wasn't selected. So it will give you that problem every time you try to change the variable in the store. Because if we save the store now, it knew, it knew that it only saved the bot. So now we've seen a selected and we don't have a selected. So we're actually going to delete that file. Where is it? Yeah, we're going to open project folder. And we're going to delete this file. Okay. We're gonna delete it and try to run the game again. And we're just gonna wait for it. Okay. Okay, as you can see, um this guy was selected by default. And okay, we don't have this guy, so we have to actually play the game to go by them. So I'm just gonna Pause the video till I'm done with playing the game. So I'm done with playing the game. Um, I'm just gonna go back here and I'm gonna buy these two guys. Okay. So when I hit select, you see that it changes and it changes. If I hit enter and I come back, you see that this guy was selected before and he remains selected. Okay. So I can actually select this guy again and come back and see this guy selected. So that's the way you save and load your um your selected and if i run it again okay i'm just this time around i'm just gonna change um the person i select i'm gonna select the last one and close the game or run it and see okay so i'm gonna select this last guy over here i'm gonna hit f8 and so i'm just gonna rerun it okay here i am hit f6 and i'm gonna try that again Close this and okay. Over here, you see, um, I have this last guy selected, so I actually saved that stuff and loaded it up again. So, I think this will mark the end of this tutorial. Um, in the next tutorial, we'll be looking on how to change our player's skin, okay, into whatever we select, okay. So, we're gonna be doing that in the next tutorial. So, see you next time. Um, please. If you have any questions leave it down in the comment section or go to my discord and i'll be happy to help you or link up link link let link up on instagram or facebook so that we can private chat okay so thank you and goodbye